Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how I create this logo animation into After Effects. Let's get started. I start from this Adobe Illustrator where I create this logo. Right now this logo elements are in a single layer and we have to separate them into separate layers. So I can animate this into After Effects. For this I select the layer 1 and click on this icon. Then click on this lines. Then I choose release to layer sequences. Now our elements converted into different layers. Just select all the layers except layer 1 and drag it to top. That's it. Now I can delete this layer 1 because it's blank and we don't need it. You can save this file as an illustrator. Let's dive into After Effects. Alright, let's create a new composition and I set this to 4K resolution. Hit OK. Now I import my Illustrator logo file into After Effects. And drag it to my main comp. Now open this composition. Here you can see our Illustrator layers. We have to convert them into shape layers. To do this select all the layers then right click, choose, create, create shape from vectors. Now our Illustrator layers converted into shape layers. Delete the illustrator layers because we don't need it anymore. After that rename the layers that's very good tip for beginners. You should always give the name to layers. Ok now I change the color of the logo. Then select the top part of the logo design and hide them. Because we animate the text first. I use X to reveal the rest of letters. For this I am using path to change the shape of the X letter. And I change the shape of X with the help of guides. It's very useful whenever you change the shape of letters. So I suggest you always use that. Here you can see the preview which I created using paths. Nice. Let's move on to the next step. To animate this shape I am using position value of this shape. Make keyframes and adjust the position of this shape according to a need. Here is a short preview. It's need to be more smooth. So I'm using a graph editor to adjust the motion of this shape. I think it needs to more uh, flexible or uh, more motion so it will look better. So I can experiment a little bit and then I'll show you the final result. That looks very nice. Now it's time to create a line who reveal the X shape. For this I am using pen tool to create a line with the help of guides. After giving a name of this line and also change cape type but cape to round cap, I am moving to animate it with the help of trim paths. If you want to learn more about trim paths so you can watch my tutorial on trim paths by clicking the i button. Here is a short preview. Nice. Let's move into the next part. I repeat the same process to create and then animate our second line who become a dot of I letter. Only difference is here that I split the layer where I dot drop it and bounce it on I letter. I split the layer of line at this point and make it like a dropping dot animation. If you want to learn more about bouncing ball so you can check out my tutorial of bouncing ball by clicking on I button. After that I am changing the taper values of this line. So it will look like this. Nice. It looks good to me. Let's move into the next part. To reveal the letters by X shape I have to pre-comb Wazir text and name it T. Then I am creating a square shape using shape builder tool. Something like this. Make sure stroke of the shape set to be none and fill is set to be solid. Then after renaming this shape I put it above the T comp. Then I move this shape to the left side of the X shape. Something like this. After that I parent this box to our X shape. So if I move this shape so the box follow the X shape. Then I change track mat to T comp none to alpha mat to reveal these letters. And here is a short preview. Nice. 
After that, I change the color of this line red to white. All right, if you want to change the line animation, so all you need to do is simply change the shape of this line using pen tool and you will get completely different animation. Now it's up to your creativity. I can only show you the way, but destination is yours. So that's it for now, guys. If you want to see more animation of mine, so you can follow me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.